Do you want to become a barista? Then let me share with you six common questions that you're going to encounter when you go in for a barista interview. I am a barista with a five-year experience and this is one of the most common challenges that has prevented most of the beginner baristas from getting their first opportunities of becoming baristas in a coffee shop. By watching this video, I'm going to share with you the basic knowledge about these common questions and how you can confidently answer them if you go in for an interview. This will enable you to get your first job as a barista. Let's dive in. The first question you're going to encounter if you're going in for an interview is to talk about yourself or your past experience. Both these questions, the HR is trying to find out what amount of knowledge you have that can make you the right candidate for that position. If you have experience, you can share your past experiences, the good things that you've done in your past job, the key duties and role that you did in your past role that can qualify you for this opportunity. But even as a barista with no experience, you can share the knowledge that you have acquired through your training. Whether you did your in-person training or online training, you can share the basic coffee knowledge that you have acquired through your training and other knowledge that you have acquired through the training that can make you the right candidate. If to answer this question and I have no experience, I'm a beginner who has just finished my training, I would say thank you for the great opportunity. I'm Derek Onyala, I'm a Ugandan barista. I have no experience in the coffee industry yet, but I've done training about coffee and I've learned so much about coffee. I've learned the different brewing methods and the difference between the different coffee drinks, like the six most popular coffee drinks, which are the espresso, cappuccino, latte, flat white, espresso macchiato and the mocha and i've also learned how i can prepare all these six coffee drinks and i've learned also the duties and responsibilities of a barista if i'm working as a barista i should have good communication skill i should have good customer service take the orders and serve the orders to the customers this will lead us to our second question and these are the challenges that baristas face when you go in for an interview, the HR is going to ask you about the challenge that you've encountered and how you are able to solve them. Because as a barista, you're going to encounter so many challenges, especially the rude customers. As a barista, you should be very calm to the customers. You should have also good communication skill so that you can be able to listen to the customer, identify where the problem is and get a solution to it. And if you fail to solve that problem as a beginner barista, then you can call in the manager so that he can help you solve this question. Let me share with you some of the challenges that are faced working as a barista that you can use in your interview. One, if you're working in a coffee shop, you're working in a fast environment. So most of the people are picking their coffee in the morning. So most of the customers are in a rush. This is going to lead you to encounter rude customers. If the customer complains about a wrong order as a company you have a policy that you can follow so that you can solve that complaint if it needs a new drink you can also prepare that coffee drink within a short period of time and serve it so that you can ensure the customer is fully satisfied and also you should inform your in charges about any of these challenges when you encounter them then this will lead us to our third question that you're going to encounter as a barista. If you go in for a barista interview, they're going to ask you the difference between the different coffee drinks. Before going in for an interview, you should know the key differences between the most popular coffee drinks, like the difference between the latte and the cappuccino, the difference between the espresso and the cappuccino, or the difference between the cappuccino, flat white, espresso, and also the macchiato and the mocha. You should know how these coffee drinks are being made and the key procedures and the differences between each of these coffee drinks. When the HR asks you about the knowledge about coffee, you can answer this question. I love everything about coffee and the different variety of coffee drinks. Understanding that every coffee drink is prepared differently and it's going to give you the different interest. We have the espresso, which is only extracted through the espresso machine and nothing is added. We have the cappuccino, which is espresso, steamed milk and foam. Then we have the latte, which is the 
espresso and steamed milk. Then we have the mocha, which is uh, espresso, milk, and chocolate. You can also share them with the different brewing methods that you've learned so that you can be able to share all the knowledge that you've acquired through this period that will make you stand out when you go in for an interview. I've made a full video about the most common coffee drinks that I will link in the description below. You can check them out after this video because you're going to need this if you're to answer this third question. And this will lead us to the fourth question that you're going to encounter if you go in for the interview. They will ask about your strength. Or most of the time they can ask you what makes you the right candidate for this opportunity. You're going to need to talk about your strength as a barista. What you think you can offer to that company so that they can hire you and get that job. I'll break them down into five key responsibilities. The first one, which is customer service. Customer service is very important to you as a barista. You should be able to welcome in the guest, take their orders and serve the orders back. You should have good coffee knowledge because with good coffee knowledge, you can prepare the different coffee drinks and also explain the different coffee drinks to your customers. The third skill, you're going to need to be able to multitask. Working in a coffee shop as a barista, you don't only make coffee, but sometimes you'll be like a waiter, sometimes you'll be able to handle the cash register. You're going to need to have good knowledge about food preparation. You should be very good in handling food because as a barista, you should be able to have good knowledge about food handling and serving it. And the last key thing, if you're working in a coffee shop, you should be able to have good communication skills that will enable you to communicate well with your customers and also as your team. And this will lead us to our question number five. What's your favorite coffee drink and why? In this question, most of the time the HR wants to know your passion about coffee, what you like about coffee. So you can take this opportunity to explain to the HR what's your favorite coffee drink and why you like it. This is one of the key things that will show the HR that you're not only wanting to become a barista, but you love what you're doing. You have something that you love specifically. You can share your favorite coffee drink to your HR. Like me personally, my favorite coffee drink is espresso because it's the heart of coffee. If you can make a good espresso, you can make other coffee drinks perfectly. This is why for me personally, my favorite coffee drink is espresso because if I test espresso, which is good, I have bigger chances that the other coffee drinks are going to be good as well. Our question number six, why do you think we should hire you? This is the last question and you should give your best because this is one of the things that is going to determine whether you're going to get the opportunity or not. My biggest trick that I always give is upselling. When I talk about upselling, this means I'm able to sell other products in the coffee shop. Basically, if you hire me, I'll be able to help the company earn more money in the process of upselling. Upselling means you'll be able to recommend other products to the customers and make sure the company makes more money. This is a key thing that you should use on your next interview so that you can be able to get your first barista job. One other question that most people will ask me is salary expectation. But for the salary expectation, I would prefer for you to find ways to answer this because you know how much you feel is worth the service you're offering. You should find an amount that suits the skills that you're offering to that company. These are the six common questions that you will encounter when you go in for a barista interview. But for more information, if you want to become a barista, then you should watch these videos next. It's a playlist that I have made of videos to guide you through a full process on how you can become a barista, even without any experience.